Let's get a look at our first alert forecast. It's been our lead story most of the day here. Lonnie Quinn standing by. We're approaching the holiday weekend, Lonnie. You betcha. Today was a little messy. Hey, How's oh. tomorrow looking? Yeah, okay. First half of this day today was a it, just a washout, a terrible day. Violent storms out there. Second half, so much better. It's a calmer atmosphere. We're going to look good as we push into your day tomorrow. Right now, you're coming in with a temperature at 74 degrees. The skies are sort of partly cloudy overhead. We told you tomorrow you're going to do okay. Saturday, you do okay. Sunday, you do okay. But as far as that three day weekend, Monday was the stickler. And you betcha, Monday, that's Memorial Day. It's just not great. There's a shower, there's a storm risk out there, 75 degrees. In terms of what we're we're dealing with for weather. I mean, you may see a little bit of weather here around western. Well, okay, there's West Virginia. That's going to push but go south. It's just not coming here. This is what we watch, okay, out around the northern plains. That's coming here, looks like, for Memorial Day on Monday. I do want to talk sea surface temperatures. Why would I do that? Well, first of all, Memorial Day weekend. A lot of folks are making this the unofficial kickoff this summer. Okay, beaches around New York City are running. The sea surface temperature about 55 degrees. You go well offshore, well offshore of Montauk, 48 degrees. That's kind of chilly water, right? Look at this off of Miami. It's 87. This is where you brew those big hurricanes. And sure enough, with the water already being that hot, you need water 81 degrees to make a hurricane. Well, it's already 87 out there. The NOAA agency has come up with the biggest prediction they've ever had. 17 to 25 name storms. My goodness, the average is 14. All that's that warm ocean water, a lack of wind shear to tear these storms up. It's a perfect setup for those storms. All right, we're going to watch the, the tropics closely this season. Saturday looks like a pretty good day. You are dry for most of the day. The rain chance would be late at night, but overall your daytime hours are sunnier. That finishes in second place. First place goes to Sunday for the holiday weekend. Monday, it's an obvious third place finish. There's a shower or storm risk out there next week. 70s, a few rain chances out there, but when you look across the board, so we just talked about how Friday's a pretty good looking day at 84. Saturday, Sunday looking pretty good. Monday, Looks like a rain chance, and the rain chance is back on Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday could give us some sizable rain totals. Okay, Lonnie, thank you.